Good morning, I'm Brother Eddie Coleman with the Tornet Apostolic Church. Welcome to our morning devotion. Today and tomorrow we're going to talk about do we understand what really keeps us? And we're going to be reading from Galatians 5 verses 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Ephesians 5, 9 through 10. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Jesus has told us that he is the vine and we are the branches. The branches draw their life from the vine, not vice versa. Sometimes we get the cart before the horse. It's very important that one go through the steps of salvation. You know, there's that a time that when you realize that we are sinners, and then there's a time when, as a sinner, we repent, and we get baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and we receive the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues, as the Spirit of God gives the utterance. Then that, that we are filled with the Spirit of the Lord, well, says the fruit of the Spirit. In other words, these are the many things that help keep us. If we have that fruit of the Spirit that we're reading about here, that love and joy, peace, long-suffering, etc., etc. You know, just as uh, the branch draws its life from the vine, so too must we draw our life directly from Jesus. Jesus will release his divine life directly into us through the Holy Ghost in the exact same way that the vine will release the life of the tree into the branches. Now, if we take the, the first thing that he spoke about, that was love if we had to rank all of the above fruit of the spirit in order of possible importance the quality of love would have to be number one and this is why it may have been listed as the first fruit in the above verse here are some of the different definitions on what love is from in the Bible and there are different dictionaries also and commentaries uh, one is unselfish concern for others brotherly concern the object of brotherly concern or affection the self-denying self-sacrificing Christ-like love which is the foundation of all other graces unselfish loyal concern for the well-being of another does these definitions sound like you or me you know there's something to think about isn't it the high esteem which god has for his human children and the high regard which they in turn should have for him and other people we should highly esteem esteem others or to love to have affection for someone to like to be a friend the love of brothers for each other one of the main messages that come comes through loud and clear from studying the bible is the extreme importance that the lord is placing on that everyone learn how to love him love ourselves, love one another, and to even go as far as to 
be able to love our enemies and those who will try to hurt us. That's hard sometimes. But if we're going to have that true love, which is produced by the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of the Lord. However, our abilities as fallen humans to love one another is very limited. This is why it's so important for each and every Christian to work very closely with the Holy Ghost to get this fruit worked up into the core of our personalities. It needs to be a part of us, who we are. It is only when the love of the Holy Ghost starts to flow and enter into our personalities can we even begin to love God, love ourselves, and love the one another to the degree that the Lord would have us to love. And then we can really see what love is. This quality should be listed as the number one quality you should really attempt to put on into a, the core of your soul and personality. You can be the greatest man of God and have some of the greatest gifts of God flowing through you. But if you are not walking with all of this in the spirit of love and humility, it will have been for nothing. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for such an opportunity to know you and this love, this true love, to really have it in our hearts, to have a concern to reach out for others. And it's unselfishness. Lord, we just help us to be that individual, Lord, that you've called us to be as we give you all the praise and the glory as we honor you. We thank you, Lord, and we pray and ask you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we hope and trust that you'll have a wonderful day in Jesus Christ.